Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can easily add a slow motion sequence to your gameplay videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got loaded up here a video from, um, uh, what was this, Killing Floor 2. And uh, although it does have its own slow motion feature when you're playing the game, I just wanted to add a little bit more sl slow motion to it. So let's have a look, there's an interesting bit here where a zombie comes to bite me there. So what I want to do is make a very short sequence slow motion. So all you've got to do is find, put the put the head where you want to the slow motion to start. Press C or select the razor tool and put a cut in there. And then you can either play it or drag the head to where you want the clip to end, which I think is there. So again, press C, make the cut and press V to bring up your tool. If you uh, left click on the little bit that you've selected and then right click it and then if you go to speed and duration this is where the magic starts. So there's a couple of ways we can go around it. We can either cut the speed by half which would make the clip twice as long or we could change the direction to in this case from two seconds to four seconds to make the clip twice as long. Um, you can either kind of drag over the number and I think it kind of changes, or you can just click on it and change it. Now, this video cap, uh, footage was captured at 60 frames a second, so even if I go half the speed, so it takes twice as long, that would still be pumping out 30 frames a second, which is more than acceptable for YouTube stuff. And in fact, you can go a lot slower as well. The human brain will still see movement, even it is a little bit flickery, but to give an effect, you can go lower. But let's start off just by going to, say, 50%. So it's going to be twice as long. Now, what's very important down here is that you make sure there's a tick in the little box that, there that says Ripple Edit Shifting Trailing Clips. Because obviously, as your little clip gets longer, you want the clips that follow it to be pushed along. If you don't press that, what happens is your it just cuts in. I think it just cuts your little uh, clip and only lets it be kind of two seconds, but um, slower for that bit. So make sure that's edited. You could you can click maintain audio pitch, but I think it makes it sound rather odd. And I think in slow motion you want it to sound slow, don't you? Like that kind of thing. So, if, so let's see what happens. So we press OK, dunk. And now the clip's gone twice as long, so it's half the speed. There we go, that's nice. So you see how easy that is. But I tell you what, let's let's take it down even lower. Why don't we do speed duration? Let's take it to 25%. So it's going at one quarter speed, so it's gonna take four times as long. See what that looks like. I mean, if you ask me, that's still okay if you just wanted to add a slow motion effect into part of your video. And you know, how easy is that? But just to go over it one more time then, cut out the section of your uh, video timeline that you want to do slow motion, right click, go to speed duration, make sure that ripple edit shifting trailing clips um, tick box is ticked, and then you can either make the speed slower um, so that it will be longer, or you can make the duration longer so the speed would be slower. Or obviously if you wanted to make it go faster, you could make it go faster as well. Say there was a part of a video, in fact let's do that now. Say there's a part of a video here where not much is happening. I could press C, put my cut in there. So I'm just kind of running around. Press C, put another cut in there. Press V, select it, uh, then right click it. And do speed duration. And let's make it go twice as fast, so 200. So okay, see I, it's made it smaller, so let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Very funny as well, isn't it, when you speed stuff up. So there we go, how to slow things down and how to speed things up in Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro to add those slow motion or fast motion effects to your captured gameplay videos. That's enough from me. If you've got any questions, especially about specific things to do with video editing, to give me some ideas for more some more tutorial, tutorial videos for the channel, please put them down below or email me, scalespeed.gmail.com. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.